It's time for bookkeeping, beer, and BS. What we input is so vital right now. Because if things are going to like be more difficult, we need to make sure that we're guarding what we're letting in our brains so that the things that we let in are equipping us to move forward. Mm -hmm. And if we spend our time letting things in our brains like so-and-so politician is to blame for this or that group of people is causing me hardship or this isn't fair or this sucks or whatever, we are crippling our energy that we could be using to take the next step forward. Yep. Yep. My, uh, oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, 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 no. I, 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 I was just going to ramble. So, so, so my dad, my dad's very like, uh, everything you do comes down to like how you invest your money. And I mean, my mom is like super frugal. My dad will like take risks, right? Like he's, he's more risk seeking, but it's always, uh, don't spend your money on stupid shit. Right. Uh, but, but the, the other part of that is like, don't spend your time on stupid shit. Because if you're a business owner, that's the same thing. That That's how you get rewarded is your, your time is money. Um, and my mom always preached attitude. My dad was very like financially focused. It's like, don't waste time, do things that are productive, which is, which is similar, right? Like don't waste time with these bullshit arguments, spending time on stuff that there's nothing you can do about. Um, and my mom was always attitude focused and actually, I mean, both like I was hammered home into my mind. So there's a reason why I went to school for finance and economics is because that was what we talked about in my house was like, make sure you don't get taken advantage of, make sure you understand the financial circumstances of your situation as I, and so I went to college thinking that was the route for that. And that was like kind of what my parents wanted for me. And then after that, I was like, oh shit. I don't know if that was the best use of my time or not, but now I have like, I, I gained some skills and knowledge out of it. And I, I, I feel like I've used it for good. It wasn't a total waste, but my mom just always used to preach attitude and neither of my parents went to college. They both were just kind of like self-made out of high school and they did, they both did really well for themselves. I can't say like, I had this hard knock life coming up and I was this and that. I was like, I could have had anything I wanted. They, they didn't give me anything. They made me work for everything, the bastards. Like they had plenty of money to buy me whatever I wanted. They did really well, but I didn't get any of it. I had to work for it because they understood like they had to work for it. Why yeah. would they give it to me, right? And, and like, thank God for that. Um, but my mom just always harped attitude, attitude, attitude. It's like the one thing you can control. It's the one thing you can, tr can control. You can't control what's going on around you, but you can control how you receive how you receive it and perceive it. And it's now that's Blue Sky's number one core value. We actually on our for all of our operating companies on the shirts that we wear, the number one core value is positive attitude. You can't work for us unless you can control your attitude. And if you're gonna sit there and like read some bullshit on social media and let it bring down your day, this probably isn't the right company for you because we just don't employ people like that. We can't handle somebody that's going to like get all bent out of shape because they just read an article about who caused these high gas prices. You control what you can control. And the only thing you can really control is your perception of the result of, of, of what you're reading and your attitude towards it. And you got to control what you can control and take that information that you have and go do something awesome with it. High gas prices might mean high gas prices. Maybe you should start selling gasoline. I don't know. Um, but I, like, I'll never, uh, my, my dad and mom like taught me corollary lessons, but that attitude thing always was the game changer for me. And I, I, it took me a while to like ingrain it in our businesses. Probably like half the time that I've been here, I, that wasn't a core value of ours. And eventually I just had an employee with such a shitty attitude. I was like, oh my God, he can't work here anymore. And I don't know why, but I know we got to fire him. <laughs> because his attitude just sucked. It was like, oh, he sucks to work with. And so we just had to make that had to make that the number one core value. You just can't work here if you suck. Sorry, man. You suck. It is what it is.